Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, 11.25 a.m. in Honolulu, Hawaii. It is the 23rd day of June. It is Thursday, and this is the daily report for gold. We had gold plummet absolutely falling out of bed today. A lot of fundamental issues. There were some, in my opinion, game changers within the marketplace itself today that we're going to have to review and factor into our long-term analysis of the market. But we had the market closing down about $27.00. 1520 about nine dollars off of the low you can see the low here as we look at a 13 minute chart and that was around 1511 and you can see even on the 13 minute chart it did come off the lows and then formed a band of consolidation as it went into the close now as you can see from yesterday and what a, what a chain game changer that was in terms of price action the market was trading lackluster it broke above that 1551 to me a critical area it actually went as high i believe as 1557 1558 right in here but what was critical was that as we went into the close itself and that's right here the close for yesterday's trading activity of course is barred right here but as you can see it was never able to close above this is that 15, 1551 area, and as you can see, as we went into the close right here, it's absolutely below this area that I consider to be fairly critical. It was unable to sustain that rally. Now, in terms of fundamental news in the marketplace, we did have the market overseas last night lower. It was lower by about 7 or $10, and then we had a couple of fundamental factors enter into the market that were absolute game changers. The first one is we had oil plummeting and that was due to a couple of things but the U.S. did release a large amount of oil from the strategic reserves. We had oil plummeting down about four, four and a half dollars. The interesting thing about that is that when you consider two weeks ago oil was trading at around what $115 per barrel it's a closer to 90 right now one number two we did have an announcement by the European Union that talks about a tentative deal with a restructuring of the debt with the crisis over in Greece now that coupled with the fact that we had Bernanke yesterday and even though he said that his assessment for the US economy is slower than he had hoped the U.S. jobless claims report was weak. What happened was he did make the announcement that QE2 would end, didn't make any announcement of QE3, so lack of stimulus. All of these things, the Greek debt and the fact that we had oil plummeting a firmer U.S. dollar really put some incredible pressure on the market. And you can see it right here. The market meandered down, but when it did plummet it did plummet and you can see it coming down very very sharply as i say forming a low right around 1511 and then recapping off that low to close at around 1520. now when we begin to compress in terms of a time cycle we're now looking at a 360 minute chart you can see this double top that we had last night in other words this is that 1551 area we absolutely breached that area as you can see right here but we were unable to sustain any kind of a rally the market plummets as you can see here and in terms of a candlestick you get a hammer like candle at the bottom and this signaled the actual bottom within the market for today's trading now what I am looking at is in terms of a longer term technical basis we have still remained and are maintaining a close above that and there's a couple indicators that we have for that but the one thing that I do want to spend a moment with and point out I have a simple retracement and the retracement is going from this bottom here right at 1461 all the way to this top here which is 15 1552 that's our real resistance level and as you can see the market this is again a 628 minutes so you have roughly three 
candles per trading day. But as you can see, when this when we run that retracement and look at the area in which we saw the market close, we did close above the 38% retracement level. That is one factor that at least on a tentative basis and a technical basis shows us some real support in the area. We see that in this area. We also see that down here. So in terms of the retracement itself, we are seeing a little bit of support. Now traders, here is where I actually have some concern. On a very long-term basis, obviously, this is our major long-term trend line. We haven't even come close, so I'm not really concerned. But when we look at the shorter-term trend line, this is a 1,500 minute, so almost a day, and we actually go ahead and blow that up. I am matching a couple of sets of lows right in here. Primarily, my starting point is here, our lows here, and our lows here, and our lows here you can see that we have closed right in this area that is just at or just below in terms of where the market is trading. So that over the next couple of days, I believe that it's going to be very critical. The other thing that I do not like in terms of a bullish stance here is that we have continually attempted to take out and trade above 1551. You know that I've called that a critical area. We have been unable to do that. And in fact, when we saw the marketplace yesterday go up to that new high of 57, I thought that was boding well, but the market, which at the time of the report was trading just at, actually began to sink lower and was never able to sustain any kind of a close above there. If I had felt more bullish, I would have looked to effectively dollar cost average when the market was down around the, the 1550 area. But my concern right now is will we get any long term damage technically within the charts for these two factors? One, in terms of where the marketplace is closed, in terms of the shorter trend line here. But this trend line is very important. Secondly, the inability for the market to close above 1551. To me, that was critical. So those are some things that we need to watch, we need to take into consideration, and then we will formulate a game plan from there. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for the daily update and weekly review. Bye-bye. Many sights to see And when I look in my window So many different people to be That it's strange So strange